Let's do the opensource.com weekly top five for November 4th. At number five, Pearl and the birth of the dynamic web. One writer tells a fascinating story of Pearl's role in the dynamic web, which is to say how we got web servers to do more than serve static HTML documents. At number four, four Pearl might be old school, but it continues to attract new users. A survey of active state users conducted earlier this year showed that one third of the respondents have three or fewer years of experience with Perl, and nearly half of all respondents reported using Perl for fewer than five years. This article reviews Perl's career outlooks, benefits, and modules. At number three, how to run commands at Linux at shutdown. Ben Cotton tells us that Linux and Unix systems have long made it pretty easy to run a command on boot, but as it turns out, running a command on shutdown is a little more complicated. At number two, which ancient programming language do you use the most? Over 2,000 people have taken our poll so far. The common thread that holds these programming languages together is that each is now a third of a century in age, and for better or for worse, someone out there is still using them in some way. Chime in with your vote. And finally, at number one, an introduction to Linux file systems. A high-level discussion in this article of Linux file systems includes definitions, functions, directory structure, file system types, and mounting. That's it for the top five this week. I'll see you next time.